My presentation is on Sarah A. Collins Fernandez. In my presentation, you will see how she made a difference in the social work community and African American community. Sarah Collins spent her life putting others in front of the needs of her own. Sarah A. Collins Fernandez was born on March 8, 1863 in Port Deposit, Maryland. Her parents were Caleb Alexander and Mary Jane Collins. She was born during the year of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. She received her undergraduate degree from Hampton Institute in Virginia in 1882. Sarah Collins is known for founding the first black settlement house in Washington, D.C. A settlement house was both a residence and community center that aimed to assist migrants and the poor to adjust to the industrial urban life. Sarah Collins founded the first all-African American house. In 1902, Sarah Collins married her husband. She became a teacher and went on to teach for 19 years. She taught in schools in Virginia, Tennessee, and Georgia. In Florida, she taught under the auspices of the Women's Home Missionary Society of Boston. She then returned home to Maryland to teach in schools in Baltimore. Shortly after her marriage, Sarah Collins accepted the position of resident in the Colored Social Settlement House in Washington, D.C. She moved with her husband to a house near an open sewer of the James Creek Canal in an area and famously known as Bloodfield. In 1903, she established a public library branch. In 1904, Sarah Collins added a daycare center for infants, a kindergarten, and afternoon care with domestic training for girls and a thrift fund for young boys. In 1905, Sarah Collins inaugurated Baby Day. Baby Day was an excursion down the Potomac River for 1,300 children and their mothers. In 1906, Sarah Collins decided to go back to school to earn her master's degree in social work. She attended New York School of Philanthropy, established in 1898. New York School of Philanthropy was the first higher education program to train people for work in charitable fields. It is now called Columbia University School of Social Work. When Sarah Collins left Washington, D.C., she built a fund of $1,000 for a new building, created playgrounds for children, and eliminated all blind alleys. She also secured housing with modern fixtures and made rents reasonable in the neighborhood for community members. In 1908, Sarah Collins established her second settlement house. This house was located in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. It was in a neighborhood called Scallop Town. While there, Sarah Collins wrote an article called The Negro and Industrialism. In this article, she requested more employment and opportunities for the blacks. While in Rhode Island, Sarah Collins spent her time lecturing at the School for Social Work, which was operated near Simmons College and Harvard University. Shortly after that, Sarah Collins returned to her home state, Baltimore, Maryland. After returning to Baltimore in 1913, a white women's group called the Women's Civic League of Baltimore asked Sarah Collins to found a corresponding group with black women. So she organized the first of many branches of the Cooperative Civic League. Sarah Collins' branch in Baltimore had 35 members plus herself. She became the president of her branch. Together, the league spent time improving neighborhoods, brought in street cleaners, and made sure the nutritional needs of young children were met by giving families with kids milk. Next, Sarah Collins traveled from Pennsylvania to Vermont on a lecture circuit that focused on the dangerous situations black women were put in while working. While traveling, she did a study on increased black residency in Pennsylvania after World War I. In 1922, she became the executive director for the Baltimore Organized Cooperative Civic League. By 1922, Sarah Collins was also, also a social investigator for Provident Hospital in Baltimore. She wrote poetry as well. She published two volumes by 1925 and continued to create poems. Her poem, Denial, was written and published in 1927 and was a reflection on her social work. Sarah Collins also made many tributes to the black community through her poetry. The Troops of Corazal is her tribute to black soldiers fighting in World War I. Our allegiance gives props to black Americans for being patriotic, even while experiencing discrimination in America. 
Sarah Collins was recognized for being very important in the organization of the Henryton State Hospital as a san sanitarium for African-American tuberculosis patients. She was also honored as the first black social worker employed by the Baltimore Health Department. Sarah Collins received national recognition for her long career of the public health service during her lifetime. When the Surgeon General of the United States invited her in March 1922 as one of 15 women to form a Women's Advisory Council to the U.S. Public Health Service in Washington. This amazing woman, Sarah Collins from Port Deposit, Maryland, who defied the eyes of and paved the way for many others, died at the age of 88 on July 11, 1951, and she was laid to rest in Baltimore, Maryland. Sarah Collins' home state, Maryland, remembered her by the dedication of a room in the Dundalk Hill Park YMCA. They also remember her with the inclusion of her name and story in a book called Notable Women in America in Notable Maryland Women. Sarah Collins should be studied and remembered by all social workers today. She spent her entire life putting others in front of the needs of her own. She not only made a difference in the social work community and profession, but played a part in the African American community and desegregation as well.